In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn an old car truck radiator into clean scrap by removing these. You're also going to want to scrap any aluminum or brass that's inside the plastic pieces. Right now, if you scrap it, you're going to get a dirty radiator price. If you want to get a clean price, we're going to have to take this off of it so it's just the aluminum radiator. You can use a hammer, you can use a screwdriver, you can use channel locks, or some people even take a sawzall and hack it right off. All three of these methods will allow you to turn a dirty radiator into a clean radiator, but we're going to find out which one's the easiest, most efficient, and makes the most sense. So the trick to the hammer method is to hit right here and knock the metal off of the plastic piece here. Then you'll be able to pop this off, so we're going to see how that goes. The trick is, is to stay on the outside and slowly work your way in. So we got this pretty much knocked off. So now we're going to go to the other side. Once you get one side hammered off, you should be able to take a pry bar and pry it right off. Then you're just left with some of the plastic inside and the rubber gasket to get out. Now that the plastic's out, you're going to need to pull the rubber gasket out. We still have plastic in this corner and this corner that has to come out. There's one. And there's the last one. Now the gasket just pulls out. So that's one clean side from the hammer. The next way people clean these is by prying the tabs down to pull the plastic off. They might use a flathead screwdriver, channel locks, a combination of the two, or something else to pry it down. It's hard to get a good grip with the channel locks, so we're gonna try prying them out a little bit and then grabbing with the channel locks. the channel locks upside down and grip a little bit better. That pulls off nicely. Once you get it pulled off a little using it upside down, if you flip it around you can get a lot more leverage to pull it out all the way. Once you get one going, it slightly loosens the next one and it's easy to grab and just continue on down the line. This is basically the same theory as the hammer method, except instead of using a hammer to hit the pressed on metal tabs to knock them off the plastic, we're going to use the pliers to grab them and pull to pry them back. Once you get one long side peeled back and both of the short sides, it'll just pop right off. You just bend the back and the gasket comes right off with it. So that's how you clean them using the channel lock method. So the hammer method took about 10 minutes. The channel locks took almost half that amount of time. Let's see how the Sawzall works out. So for the Sawzall method, I'm using a freshly charged battery, but I'm using a used blade. Let's see how it goes. I feel like I'm wasting scrap here. I'm gonna finish this on the floor so it goes faster. I'm gonna try a fresh high quality blade to see if that makes a difference. Prop this under it so that we can cut all the way through. Got a little squirrely on the cut, but you get the point. Even though the Sawzall or reciprocating saw method was a lot quicker, 
I still feel like I want to take the rest of the scrap off and add it to my pile. In which case, I should have just used one of the other methods and then I would have only had to do it once. I would have eliminated a ton of mess and I wouldn't be consuming expensive salt oil. You're also going to want to scrap any aluminum or brass that's inside the plastic pieces. Sometimes there's a brass rod or other times there's these aluminum foils. They come off by simply loosening these nuts. I would normally use a socket, but since I have the channel lock, I'm just going to use that. Falls right out. Now you have more scrap. This one's stuck on there pretty good, so I'm going to use a big socket and a breaker bar. Now I'm going to use my impact gun to get it off. Knock it off with a hammer, and it'll come right out. So now I got our pieces inside. This one is aluminum, so it can go with the radiators. This is aluminum, it can go with the radiators. This is brass threads and aluminum top, so this can just get tossed in with your radiator. This one here is also aluminum. Unfortunately, this one here is steel because the magnet sticks to it, so that's gonna go in our steel pile or in the trash. So what's the best way to turn a scrap radiator from a car or truck into clean scrap? I guess that method is up to you. The Sawzall was definitely fast, it was also really messy, and it was consuming expensive Sawzall blades. The hammer trick worked pretty well, but I seem to think that the channel lock was the quickest, cleanest, and most efficient way to do it. And that's how you turn a dirty scrap car or truck radiator into a clean one. If this helped you out at all, please let me know in the comments and like this video. It would really mean a lot. Thanks for watching.